What are they going to do against Aaron Donald? What are they going to do without Mike McGlinchey? Remember when Mike McGlinchey went down, people were just like, oh, my God, the season's over because Mike is so great. And his backup, Tom Compton, is so bad. But it turns out no one – no one's ever talked about Tom Compton since then. We, we Everyone was really nervous, and then it's like, hmm, we don't talk about him anymore, which is usually a good thing for an offensive lineman. Right. Like, we haven't we haven't talked about McGlinchey and Compton in weeks since Compton gave up that safety in the end zone, right? But True. Outside of that, like, haven't talked about Compton. have been a safety if Trey Lance was a quarterback. I'm sorry. It was right. just hanging out there. I had to say it. We haven't talked the, about Compton the, or McGlinchey. Oh. McGlinchey at all, which means Tom, Compton's doing his job. Um, yeah. And he's doing it admir- admirably. So, I mean, I think it's a, it's a lot to be said for both players, right? Like, do you, are you, do the Niners really need McGlinchey? Um, and who, who can, who, what can they deal with at that right tackle position? Because um, you've got a guy that you're paying $10 million or going to be paying $10 million to play that position. And, a guy's doing it for 1.9 or right or two, whatever he's getting paid now. Yeah. 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 I think it's very interesting that the Niners look, I went on a whole crusade last year that say that Mike McGlinchey was the weak link on the offense. A lot of people were like, you're just saying that because you're a Nick Mullins fan and you're looking to scapegoats someone other than Mullins. Well, yeah, obviously, but I was right. Because Mike McGlinchey was really making it tough on the Niners offense and Mullins to execute. McGlinchey goes out, Compton comes in. You could argue he's better. And the crazy thing is the Niners believed all the hype with McGlinchey, picked up his fifth-year option. Now they're stuck paying him almost $11 million guaranteed next year when, I mean, this is an obvious, clear-cut way to, to save $10 million. Get rid of him. Keep Tom Compton. No drop off, maybe even get better at the position, but no, you can't do that. Oh, because you're stuck with Mike. Wait, by by the way, Compton never played tackle. He's played. He was guard. Yeah, so that's right. This is first right. his first time playing playing tackle. He might have played it here and here and there, but this is his first been a while. Time it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, good for the night again. The Niners always find these have these finds, but then they can't use them because they're way over invested in some bust in the starting lineup. It's like, I don't know. What they Sorry. might, what they might be able to do is just give McGlinchey away, like, just get like someone like the Jets or something, like someone with cap space that doesn't care. Cap what space you that you know yeah. the Jets know him and they're looking. Would you they, give us a first, like a like an eighth round pick in twenty seventy four? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Yeah, send it to the Jets. He'll really love it. 